how's it going ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Zanwax channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the Deban 12100 Gundam Asprey Reframe Mars Jacket. So, before I go into further details and then the articulation, I just want to express my personal opinion first. So, my opinion towards this gambler right here. First, I must admit that the overall finish, the surface detail, the color separation, and even the joint is pretty tight. The server the surface detail and the color separation done a way better job. Personally, I would say that sorry Bandai, but the band actually done a better job than you guys about the ashtray right there. So for those of you that play with the ashtray, you know that the legs join of the Bandai's ashtray, they always fell out for some reason. They don't really stick into well. And this one right here, when you assemble the joints of the um, red frame mask jacket right here. You can actually hear that clear click sound when you put in the joint. So I really like that feature. Makes, so it makes you feel like the joint actually locked into the gamble joint. So about the details right here, just taking a look at this, the, the details on it is pretty amazing. I would say that the details on the gamble itself is pretty amazing. And you can see that that's like a very there is like different variation of color all over the uh, red frame mask jacket right here. You can see that there's a lot of different colors. They are all by part separation and none of it is stickers except for the eyes camera. So before I go into the articulation part, I just want to talk about like a quick pros and cons. So the pros, as I just said, the details is amazing and you basically don't have to repaint anything because the band already gave you all the parts that you need for the color separation. And another pro will be that the joint is overall pretty tight. So it's very easy for you to move around. And also you don't have to worry about like moving halfway, the joint just fell out. But I do want to say that some, because it's like the third party company, and it might be not as good as Bandai. So sometimes when you try to assemble the parts, um, you need to push in really hard just to get in the parts. And sometimes they're not even going in as well. Sometimes they will have gaps. So you might want to do something about it, about those gaps right there, because those gaps right there is pretty large. Uh, I will show you the gaps later. But what I'm trying to say is overall, the assemble process is it's pretty nice. It's not like very difficult for me to snap the parts in, but it's just some parts on the legs and on the backpack, uh, specifically those two parts right there. Um, it's pretty hard for for myself to push in after I after I assemble the legs and the backpack. My thumb actually pretty hurt. But overall, the finish is pretty nice. The parts just went in pretty well. You, as I just said, you can hear that clicking, that click sound whenever you push in the parts or push in the joint. So I really love that. So um, another negative part about this reframe right here, because the backpack is actually quite large and really heavy. So the reframe, um, actually it cannot stand by itself. So, so, so you, you might, you need to use the backpack as a support stand to help your reframe to stand. So as usual, we are going to start with the head first. So this head right here, the design actually reminds me of the gold frame Amatsumina because you see there, there's a great chin sticking out. So it kind of reminds me of the design. Overall, the heads, the head uh, part separation is doing a really nice job. You see those gray color right here, black color, red color, they are all by parts except for the cameras, they are stickers. So what about the articulation? So first moving up, you know, moving down, moving up, moving down is pretty average. And then you can, you know, move around as well. Actually, the moving around is around like 45 degrees. So the head articulation is pretty average, but the colors and the part separation, full marks. But I do want to tell tell you that the head actually got some part very easy to fall out. You really want to glue this antenna right here. I already super glue it because the antenna is actually really easy to fell out. Even you just touch it a little bit, it will still fell out. So best solution, just super glue it. So let's look at the chest right here. This chest right here, honestly, if you build the Bandai one, there's nothing different. So the chest right here, just like the same. The articulation though, moving down a little bit, moving up a little bit, but because the backpack is too heavy as i just mentioned so right now you can see like a little bit of gap between the connection here because you know the backpack is too heavy and the red frame is actually leaning backwards so the ball joint right there 
it's a meh and the articulation right there moving side to side is just a very very average angle and then we also have the additional joint in there so allow you to move the ref frame a little more so overall the articulation on the torso is pretty it's pretty like it's pretty normal so just like all the master grade the cockpit you can open it but the, the band version is really tight so it's pretty hard for me to pull out the parts so you know just give it a minute oh my god so tight okay so here we go you can see that oops so finally the cockpit piece finally back onto the part right there so the pilot figure is pretty difficult for you to see so i bought a torch so it's like right here this gray piece right here is the pilot figure this arm right here i really like it because finally i don't have to be seeing the same arm same shoulder all over again my god this one right here this time is a new design i don't have to see the same shoulder anymore my god so this one right here the colors is actually really nice you can see that the arms is actually pretty colorful so you can see that you can see some red parts there's some white parts you can see the gray parts all over it and then you can see like the uh, like a pretty nice detail over the arms over the shoulders so i really like this now let's talk about the articulation so first the, the shoulders it can move separately but because the antenna is actually pretty large so sometimes when you move the shoulders the shoulders piece will actually bump into the antenna so you might want to watch out about that it can move to the front uh, just like a little bit it can lift up at a pretty good angle this lift up angle right here is really nice and then the bending um, yeah a little bit over 90 degrees yeah and then you can rotate the arms as well so it's pretty nice and then down here you can see that the hands right here but unfortunately we don't have any other option hands so all you have to do is just stick with this movable hand right here this movable hand is just like the regular master gray index the thumb is like a sep it's a separate joint the rest will be going together so you can pose with it and then inside the hands right here you can see that there's a spot for you to put on the weapons as well so now let's take a look at the waist right here so finally asteroid series finally got a front skirt because you know i don't particularly like the ms without a front skirt design because it looks really weird finally this time the red frame got like a front skirt my god so first the front skirt is a ball joint and it's actually pretty loose as well so sometimes it will fall out but not a big deal just be careful when you move it and of course just like the mg version you can see some details inside the front skirt and then at the side skirt right here is a ball joint but you know the movement is actually pretty limiting as well so side skirt is pretty the movement is not like pretty the back skirt right here small movement again so overall the skirt armor articulation is not really good but yeah acceptable before i go into the articulation i just want you to take a moment and then look at the legs detail and then the colors right here i really like this leg design right here a little bit of gray inside like the whole white leg right here so i really like this design plus i'm pretty tired of seeing the same design of the leg design of the astray series so this one right here it gave me like new feelings so i really like this like design so now let's take a look at the articulation right here so kicking to the front 90 degrees kicking to the back mm, unfortunately the back skirt don't really have movement so the kicking to the back is pretty limited kicking to the side because the side skirt can't really lift up so it's actually affecting the angle so and the bending though the maximum you can do is around like this so the legs articulation is a meh but the overall finish the overall surface detail is looking really amazing and then we also have a double ball joint up down here uh first ball joint connected to this uh armor right here and then the second ball joint connected to the feet the feet can move side to side as well so overall the legs articulation is a um, mm, little bit below average but the surface finish looking really fine so before I go into the backpack part, I just want to quickly finish the accessory part. So the only accessory that we have, except for the katanas, is actually the this beam rifle right here. But this beam rifle, I really like the design. Maybe because I look at the Astray normal beam rifle design too much. This design right here, 
really nice i like it this beam rival right here don't really have a lot of things to talk about the scope is a foil sticker and then we have this white piece right here you can move slightly a little bit and other than that um there's honestly nothing else to talk about but you know as you can see right here this beam rival have a really annoying gap right here i don't know did they do it on purpose or not but this gap looks really annoying and you want to do something about it uh, other than that we don't have a sub handle or anything like that this magazine right here is also fixed inside the piece so you cannot pull it out uh sadly i wish they can make it like a like make it like a retractable magazine but unfortunately we don't have that on this kit now i'm going to show you the backpack part so first when you're taking a look at the beam cannons right here they are really long and they are really large which is why you can see that the red frame clearly cannot handle the weight and leaning backwards so right now you can see that two beam cannons and as you can see right here once i let go it will just fall back so exactly the same so first and contain the same feature just like most of the astray ms there's a spot here for you to lower the backpack but because right now i already attached the cannons on it so it's very hard for me to pull it out plus that part right there don't call me lazy i try to pull it out and it's just really tight and it's really difficult for me to lower the backpack so now at the front of the backpack right here i mean yeah it's called the front i think at the front of the backpack right here we can see this thruster right here so the thruster is gray and black piece right here and then we have some details all over it uh the main point of this backpack is actually the cannons the cannons articulation is also really nice they have a like a triple joint for you to move so first you have the first joint right here and then you have a second joint right here and then you also have the big ball joint and but be careful the big ball joints are really tight so you need to be careful when you're moving the backpack so there's a, like a triple joint on the backpack so it's really nice and then we also have a little bit of movement overall at the backpack piece right here the main backpack piece right here we have like a little bit of movement for you to adjust where you want to put your backpacks and on the cannons the cannons right here uh there's a little bit of movement so first uh this this part right here you can expand it and then i think there's another part right here that you can also expand it as well so two parts that is movable it's all like a small detail this up part of the cannon right here is also movable but i do want to talk about why am i not closing the gaps right here if you take a close look right here you can see there's a hole right here why am i not closing this hole right here well because of the katanas so in the settings the katanas is actually snapped inside to the beam cannons right here but because uh, I try to do this off camera when I try to push in the katanas and it took me 10 minutes to pull it back out because they were so tight and they were snapped into the piece and I try to pull it out like I almost broke the part so I've, I'm really afraid to do it again so I just decided not to push in the katanas I don't want to damage the parts but right now I can take out one katana and then show it to you so this one right here I think is the Gabriel Strike this one right here is the Gabriel Strike the other side is Tiger Piece so this katana right here the finishing looking really nice chrome plated silver and gold but I do want to tell you that please glue this part right here because it's really easy to fall out so please glue this part so the beam cannons you can move it to the front and then use it as the beam cannon form so it's just something like that but unfortunately this beam cannon is not like uh it's not like those uc ones that have a handle on it so um personally i felt a little bit disappointed because i wish that there's like a handle on the beam cannon so you know it can make the red thing looks like it's firing it instead of just hanging under the, underneath the shoulders but that's just my personal opinion oh and i also forgot to mention although now i can't pull out the handle and then show you there's actually engraved words inside the katana right here it's written tiger piece and gabriel strike well another thing that i just found before i was doing the closing part because i found out that the katana is actually not sticking really well onto the hand so you you need to be careful and be patient when you're posing with the katanas because honestly they are not sticking too well onto the hands so that part right there is a little bit disappointing but yeah i mean it's a the band product you cannot expect it's gonna having like a very sta stable posing quality like the bandai ones but this one right here is a little bit of let down all right guys this is the end of the review thank you guys for watching this video i just want to quick give my quick summary right here the service detail colors and the stability of this gopla is amazing 
I definitely recommend you to pick this up and have fun. The katanas part is a little bit disappointing, but you know, with a little bit of patience and just be careful, I think you can still make some very cool poses of it. And the beam rival is looking really nice and it's also pretty stable as well. So posing with the beam rival is pretty easy, but posing with the katanas, I think you need to be patient and then just be careful when you're posing with the katanas. Overall, I have a pretty high marks for this gamma right here. Although it's a third party company kit, but it done a really awesome job about the gamma overall. So sorry Bandai, I know you don't like to hear this, but the band actually won this time because it did a better job than you guys. It have all those very, very cool details all over the surface. It have a better color separation. I just absolutely love this thing. And also it have a better stability on the legs than you guys. So definitely the band won this time. So really encourage everybody that watched this video, go pick up one and have fun. So this will be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching this review. Make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.